Hi everyone, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant and today I have a card featuring the new Tandem Ride Stamps and Dies. I created this cute little scene with these critters on and around a little tandem bike, kind of biking through the woods or th mountains, I guess is more what I was thinking. This is some pattern paper from Pebbles, um, the trees is from an older Pebbles 6x6 paper pad as well as the green and kind of teal houndstooth and then the other green is from an Avery L 6x6 paper pad. So using up some things I had around that I would kind of forgotten about plus a, some newer paper as well. Now to not use the entire sheet of green paper because I only need a tiny little strip I am going to just die cut part of my rectangle along the bottom. This is going to give me a nice stitched border on all three sides along the bottom. And then when I use the landscape trio dies to create my little kind of rolling hills there, they will have that nice stitched detail as well. So they'll be stitching on all four sides. Just a little tip and it makes it easy because then everything is cut precisely to the same size if you start out with the rectangle and then build from there. So there is my first hill. I'm gonna go ahead and take the other stitched kind of hilly border there from the landscape trio dies. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing, die cut just a portion of this green using the rectangle first. This is from the Pika Frame die collection from Mama Elephant. I'm gonna lay everything out so I can see exactly where I need to die cut. My second one, I don't want it to be too high. Hold that down with post-it tape and then I will run that one through as well. I am ready to stamp the images from the Tandem Ride stamp set. I'm going to be using some watercolor paper today and color the images with the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. I'm stamping all of my images using the Ranger Archival Jet Black ink. This is a great ink that is uh, waterproof. So when you're coloring with the Zig markers, they are not going to cause the ink lines to bleed. I've stamped my bike. I got one of my critters. Now, originally I did the two larger critters and then one of the little mice. And I ended up not really liking how I colored them the mouse there so I switched it up and I am going to be coloring several of them a little closer to the end of the video once I got to putting the card together I realized I didn't like the a I didn't like the colors and B I thought I needed more than one I'm gonna start coloring here using 068 072 and 075 I laid down my darkest color kind of around the edges of the critter. Then I'm going to pull in my mid-tone color. And then I did go back in. I originally thought I'd do the ears and I, so I kept the color there, but I didn't really like it. So I ended up kind of going back over that with the color I used for the majority of the critter. I liked it better. Now for my raccoon, I started light and I ended up kind of going a little darker after I had him colored in. I don't think the color, this particular watercolor paper blends all that well when you go over it more than once, but I tried to be kind of careful. So I think it worked out okay in this instance but normally I wouldn't recommend going back over the images too many times because the paper does start to pill a little bit. So here, this is where I pulled in a little bit darker and you can tell the paper's still wet because it started to run a little bit, which is fine because I want that watercolor look. Go back over it with my light to blend anything out. I'm gonna pull a little of that dark into that lighter area of the raccoon because it was a little too light move on to the bike now i'm using some reds and as well as some of the grays that i used for the raccoon and this was kind of just a work in progress i didn't want to get too far ahead of myself and accidentally color a section of the bike the wrong color 
because I think there's a lot of teeny tiny working parts here. So I worked in small sections at a time and you can see I'm kind of twirling my paper around when I'm coloring these wheels so that I don't get outside of the lines or hopefully don't. I tried to color everything that was going to be a certain color all at once. That didn't always work out. You can tell I missed part of the bike there. Go ahead and color in all of these little areas. I love that the critters from the Tandem Ride are the same size as the critters from the Tandem Extras. So if you like those a little bit better or you wanna switch it up, you can mix and match the images from both stamp sets to create some really fun card designs. I am using a little bit lighter red to smooth out those right around the wheel here. Add a little dark gray. Here's that lighter red again. Then a little lighter gray yet. Make sure I get everything filled in. Add a little yellow for the light on the lamp or the little headlamp there. And using a little white too for those little areas that I colored over when I was coloring. I'm going to go back over the wheel one more time with a little bit darker color. Once those images are nice and dry, I can tape the coordinating dies right over those and die cut everything out. Now it's simply putting the entire thing together. And this is kind of where I realized I did not like my little mouse. I just, I didn't like the color. I wanted him a little bit warmer, I guess is, is what I was thinking. So I did change the color of the mice and I added a couple more. Before I do that, I did color in the eyes and the nose on my critters with a black gel pen. You can tell so much how what a big difference that makes on critters like this. Here is one of those critters, and I'm going to color all three of them the same. I'm using 900 and 901 for the gray. It's a much, much lighter combination. And then for the insides of the ears and the cheeks, I'm using 028. Again, once these images are all dry, I can tape the coordinating die right over them and die cut all three of them at the same time. I'm just showing one, but all three are colored exactly the same. Again, take my black gel pen and add some definition to the eyes. To add some little highlights to the eyes, you can take a white gel pen once that black is dry, and I think that really makes the eyes pop even more. Since these critters have some nice big eyes, and you can see I smudged that when I had to go back over it, but they have nice big eyes so you can do some nice catch lights. The little thought bubble is die cut from the Polaroid Fun Creative Cuts die collection just from some white cardstock and then from the Friend Indeed greeting stamp set also new for July I stamped Oh Hello and now I can glue everything down. So I'm using the Zig Glue Pin to glue my die cuts in place kind of a combination. If there's a little bit more intricate areas, I use the Zig Glue Pin. For the bigger images, I am using some glue dots sometimes, sometimes the glue pin, it just depends. For the mice, I did use a glue pin. And I'm using acrylic blocks to hold things down in place if I need to. The and you can see the, my, the mouse did not uh, stick very well, so I kind of wiped that glue off before it dried and grabbed a glue dot instead. It's nice and sticky and I think that worked a little better. I'm going to use that liquid adhesive for this bigger image. I'm going to sit him there on the second seat and then I can add my last two mice, glue my greeting in place and then I'll place this entire panel on a white card base and my card is all finished. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the new Mama Elephant Tandem Ride Stamps and Dies. The supplies used to create this card are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching.